Hey everyone, welcome to Erky's World. First of all, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your love and support so much. So as you've read by today's title, I'm going to be doing a what's in my hospital bag for baby number two. It is a little different from baby number one because now this is my second time around and I think I know what to pack and what not to pack. <laughs> there are a few factors of what you should pack and what you shouldn't pack, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but for now, if this video does turn out pretty long. I'll put timestamps down in the description box below because I also want you guys to stay tuned till the end because I'm going to show you a few things that you should buy um, or think about for postpartum while you're in the hospital if you want to buy those beforehand. And I also packed for my toddler just in case he has to stay over at grandma's, auntie's, anybody's house um, while me and hubby are in the hospital. So if you're watching this video right now, I'm assuming that you're trying to get ideas on what you should put on your hospital bag and you are probably as far as long as I am. I am currently 36 weeks and you might be thinking you're packing super early. No, I am not. I had my first baby at 36 weeks and four days. <laughs> So in four days, I could technically give birth, but <laughs> I just wanted to be prepared and that's what mom is doing. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to remind you that if you haven't registered for your hospital, if you can, um, I know the hospital that I'm going to deliver at, you have to pre-register. Um, if you haven't taken your tour yet, I know with all this craziness, pandemic, coronavirus thing is going on, so they might have restrictions now, but if not, make sure you guys call in and see um what they provide for you because that could also affect um what you pack in your bag also and then that also could affect what you should shop for pre-hand after hand i know i bought a bunch of stuff uh, for my postpartum like i said in the beginning um pre-hand just in case i just don't want to go out so let me stop with all the babbling and let me show you guys what's in my hospital bag like i said um these are just things that helped me the first pregnancy and um, just a few adjustments on the second pregnancy and since this whole coronavirus pandemic is going on um, I brought a few extra things that I know the hospital provides but um, I just brought it anyway just in case you know as of the moment right now hubby can be with me in the labor room I cannot have visitors um, if I do have a section emergency c-section i'm planning to have an all-natural vaginal birth again um he can go into the surgery room with me and as of right now all the supplies that they normally give you like your um labor robe um the little squirt things and all that stuff just in case i do end up going into labor i'm gonna call before just in case i have to have hubby go and buy me some of those things that i need before i go to the hospital so like I said, I'm <laughs> so all the babbling. I just wanted to point that out for you guys because of the craziness that's going on right now. So let's unpack this. I don't want to make this video too long for you guys, but yeah, let's go. Okay, one thing before I unpack this bag. I brought a styrofoam. Last time I wasn't able to keep my placenta, but I'm planning to get my placenta encapsulated. I talked to my lady. She said she's still okay to do it. Um, she just can't go to the hospital and pick it up. We have to go deliver it to her. Just a small little ice box for me to put my placenta in and deliver it for her. All right, so if you guys haven't seen my first hospital bag, I told you guys <laughs> that I had a whole bunch of stuff in here and I had no clue what I needed to bring, no clue what I was going to use or not. And I probably used about one percent of what was in my bag <laughs> so i'm gonna try and pack accordingly this time and hopefully i'll actually use everything <laughs> so if you guys can see it probably not i'll just show you guys the things that are in here i'll move to the side so the very very first thing is my baby binder this was very important to me um you guys might think that i'm doing too much but you never know what's gonna happen so i highly highly suggest you get a baby binder um basically what's in here is you have your important contacts and phone numbers very first because like i said you never know what's gonna happen um i do have my packing list right here just in case um something happens to my bag i don't know but hubby has this list 
and he can refer back to this. I do have a birth preferences sheet or birth plan right here. And um, obviously that could be um, changed and everything based on what you want and what you don't want. If you guys want me to go in detail, I think I did another video with that my last what's in my hospital bag but if i did i'll make sure to put the card up here and put it down in the description box below then i have a copy of my id my um social security card and my insurance cards just in case i forget my wallet or something and then um i also have typed out romeo's name which i'm not going to show you guys so just in case, like I said, you never know what's going to happen. Maybe they do their birth certificate and you have something printed out right there for you so that they don't spell it, misspell it or anything like that. Then you have the patient's rights and responsibilities. This is what I got when I pre-registered for um, the hospital. And then I just have extra like little slip thingies just for all the stuff that they give you um they give you overwhelming stuff of paperwork so i have that to um put in here little slips just to keep everything organized all right so the number one thing um i have my camera holder of course i'm using my camera currently but i know i have my camera camera holder um i did buy an extra battery and a real extra battery <laughs> um, I don't suggest you get the knockoff ones. Just get a real battery. It'll save your life. Um, it won't overheat your camera. And then, of course, the charger. Um, I brought a speaker. I wasn't able to use the speaker last time because everything happened so quickly. But if I need this, I have this. And I have my labor playlist. So if you guys have any like good suggestions on music, put them down in the comment section below. And I'll add it to my playlist. Four, baby Romeo. Now my first labor and delivery, I brought so many outfits for Leo. Um, I thought he was gonna be in outfits the whole time he was there, but no, he was just pretty much on his diaper because he was always skin to skin on me. So I just brought outfits for pictures in the hospital and then um, for when he goes home. So I brought one swaddle blanket and then I still have to wash these. That's why they're still in the hangers. But I brought one preemie one. So look how cute this is. They're so tiny. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and Leo was too big for the Target Preemie brand. I had to get the Walmart Preemie brand and they are even smaller. But in case he's little, I have one Preemie and then I have a set of newborn. So those are little outfits I have planned for him going home. And then of course I have the cute little hats like i said leo was too small for these so i don't know maybe i won't use these <laughs> so that's all i brought for um baby romeo moving on to mama stuff oh um charger make sure you guys bring this charger and don't forget it in the labor room because they will not let you go back if you forgot it <laughs> i suggest a 10 foot long one um i got this on amazon i'll link it down below for you guys if you need it has not given me any problems i used it over a year um with both my iphone 8 i think or iphone 10 and iphone uh current one i don't know <laughs> what is this called the one with the big cameras <laughs> it hasn't given me any issues but i did use like the regular um iphone block but the three feet ones are honestly a joke because that doesn't reach anywhere and you know you always want your phone charging and then your phone next to you um because the three feet one is not long enough so i suggest a 10 foot one okay moving on to mama stuff basically um right now the weather is crazy in here in texas and i don't know when i want to go home in so of course i bought two pairs of socks i brought a nursing bra this is one of my favorite bras i need to get another one it is from Target. Um, like I said, I was pretty much in the hospital stuff up until I went home. So these are just my going home clothes. I don't know why, but I have a pair of underwear 
I just used um, the disposable ones, which I'll show you guys later. Um, but I have a choice of wearing shorts, leggings, or sweats. <laughs> so I don't know if it's going to be hot. I don't know if it's going to be cold. I don't know if I want to be sh in shorts. I don't know if I want to be in something tight with my leggings or something with, with my sweats. I just have a choice. <laughs> and then for my tops, I have a tight um, tank top. I have a loose t-shirt. <laughs> or I have um, a long sleeve. <sighs> I just have choices, you guys. And I always overpack. And I'm pretty sure all the other mamas overpack for any vacation. <laughs> um, and then I brought these slides now i don't want to bring slippers because last time i used heavy slides and i forgot my slippers and i just hate socks so i didn't wear any socks the whole time i was in labor um but i know i had to keep going to the bathroom and i don't like touching the floor on the hospital so i just slip these on go to the restroom come back slip them off now, if I have, like, the thongs, it, I have to worry about, like, putting my toes in between. You guys, I overthink about everything, and it's true. It's just something that's so much easier to put on. So, I have these. And then, of course, I just brought hubby um, a pair of sweats, a pair of basketball shorts, a t-shirt, and a long sleeve. Um, I am planning to have a natural vaginal delivery so that is planned for two days um two days one night i believe and so that's what i'm planning to pack for if you have a cesarean i believe you stay for three days so just depending on that is how much you want to pack or what you pack for hubby or for yourself so yeah that just all depends too so i am currently packing for a natural vaginal delivery and then on the other side of the bag is more of like the necessities and stuff um i brought a pack of cloth wipes um because you want to make sure that you wet down the bed especially the little control thing and the tv remote sometimes they just forget to wipe them but i have these to go dis disinfecting wipes um for that then on the other side I have brought my essential oils last time I wasn't able to use it but I'm hoping I'll be able to use it this time my favorite scent is the lavender so I just have the lavender packed um, I didn't use this last time but I have my organic nipple butter and then right here they do give you the dermoplast I think that's what it's called but I did not like that. So um, what I liked is the Earth Mama Herbal Perineal Spray. So I brought that for me to use in the hospital. And then of course I'm using that postpartum. These are one of the things that I suggest you buy for postpartum. That's just what um, worked for me. And then I did go home in a mommy diaper. These were just super comfortable so much better than what they had i might bring extra because i probably would want to wear these instead of the ones that they have at the hospital but um i only bought four right now but i'll probably bring more then i have a few of the nipple pads um disposable ones for now because i couldn't find any of the um washable ones but i just brought these just in case you don't know if i'm gonna overflow or not um but yeah i have these and then i have my makeup bag you guys might think i'm crazy but my mom look pretty too okay so i have my makeup bag in here and then i'm not sure if you guys know when i pack i have this already pre-packed this is my to-go travel bag for me and hubby so basically what's in here is travel size stuff that i can just pick up and go so i don't have to um repack everything and um it's just so much easier so basically what i have in here is i have shampoo conditioner lotion um mousse and then i have mouthwash and um body wash so this is all like my hair essential stuff 
Um, these are not the brands that I use every day. It's just what I could find in the store for travel sizes. Then I have um, to-go toothbrushes and toothpaste. I have Hubby's deodorant. <laughs> um, and then I have Q-tips and makeup remover wipes. And then I have floss and a to-go brush. Um, also, you don't want to forget, bring extra hair ties because you might lose it and then you're going to be like, oh my god, I need my hair out of my face. <laughs> so bring extra hair ties and like bobby pins if you want. Um, one thing I mainly, mainly used in my first labor is chapstick. Do not forget your chapstick. If you have to buy an extra one to put in your little to-go bag, buy an extra one because you will hate yourself because you're going to be licking your lips the whole time you're in labor and it's going to be annoying. <laughs> so don't forget your chapstick. <laughs> and then at last but certainly not least, um, like I said, make sure you guys call ahead and uh, double check with your hospital what they provide and what they don't provide for you. Um, but I did bring an extra pack of wipes and a few of the newborn diapers. So that is all. I have packed four of my hospital bags. If you guys have any suggestions on what I should bring, what I shouldn't bring, um, let me know in the comment section below and I will take it into consideration. But uh, like I said, um, t make sure you take a tour, see what they provide for you, see what they don't provide, um, especially with this crazy pandemic going on. Um, sometimes they might be limited on some things, so you might have to bring extra stuff. So just make sure you call ahead before you go. Um, and like I told you guys, I'm going to show you guys a few things that I am buying for postpartum if you want to plan ahead. And then I'll just quickly go over what I have packed for Leo if he has to um, stay somewhere uh, while I'm in labor. Okay, so it shows you what's in my hospital bag. Um, and I brought some of these, but I wanted to show you guys the bag. It's the Always Discreet Underwear. I got a size small medium and I'm usually a size 4, size 5 in pants um, and they fit pretty snug and pretty good um, but these are absolutely comfortable. I absolutely love these way better than the hospital little pad diaper things that they got. So um, buy extra of these because when you're bleeding postpartum you'll probably want to have these easier to slip on and off, throw away in the trash um, better than just pads, you know? Um, when you're in the hospital, they also give you these ice cold pad packs. Um, stock up if you can um, at the hospital, but if not, I bought these on Amazon. I'll put them down in the description box below. But these absolutely saved my life. I love these. I always had them on. Um, it just felt so good down there. <laughs> and then also what I showed you guys was the herbal peritoneal spray. This helped me so much better and I liked it so much better than the Dermaplast that they give you at the hospital. Um, you can't buy these in the store. Well, I haven't found it at the store, but I did order this on Amazon. But if you can't get a hold of that, I haven't tried this, but this is the Freedom Mom Perineal Healing Foam. Um, this has witch hazel in it. That's like the main ingredient that you want to look for. This also does have witch hazel in it. But um, if you don't, can't get to the spray, maybe this will help. I haven't used this, but I'll probably try it this time. And then if not, Freedom Mom also has these perinatal cooling pad liners. I like this better than the witch hazel pads because the witch hazel pads um, are little circles and you have to put like two. And then every time I put it in my little underwear thing, it would always like scrunch up and it's just it would be uncomfortable here and then these are just basically like wipes so maybe be the same thing but just putting that out there I bought these because I thought I wasn't going to be able to get this on time but I got on time so I might just try these to tell you guys how I felt about them and then if you haven't pooped before you left the hospital um, they do give you stool softeners um, I think it took me probably like a few days to at least poop because I wasn't really eating a lot in the hospital anyway, but I don't usually poop every day anyway, but um, I bought extra stool softeners just in case it does take you a while. It won't hurt as much when you do, <laughs> so just get some stool softeners. 
so that's pretty much all I had to buy after for postpartum my first time around like everyone says no two pregnancies are the same so we'll see we'll just and even if I do have to get a c-section emergency c-section this probably would not at all like have any use for me <laughs> so last on my agenda i wanted to show you guys what i had packed for leo just in case he has to stay over at somebody's house i do have his pretty bag packed um this is from jujube and it is the tokidoki and jujube collab and this is the animalini i just have to show you guys because i absolutely love this pack um i do have the kaiju city right now that i'm using for my diaper bag but I just love this print so much better um but anyways um basically i just have wipes diapers for three days you never know what's gonna happen um and then i have clothes for three days and extra changing ones um i guess that one fits in here i have a whole bunch of space i just need to pack his food um his sippy cup just in case he needs that too um and then in here i have his formula he does still drink i need to fill it up <laughs> he does still drink formula but only at night when he wakes up in the middle of the night um i gotta get his bottle lotion and then his bottle soap so um i just want to quickly show you guys what i packed for him um but yeah nothing too serious but yeah i think that's all i had to show you guys i hope i didn't miss anything important if i did i will put it down in the description box below other than that if you have any questions put them down in the comment section below and i'll answer it to the best of my abilities if you have any suggestions on what you think i should bring what i shouldn't bring if you're doing too much let me know i love all those comments and make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video because i will be doing a nursery tour you guys are probably going crazy trying to figure out how the rest of my um room looks but uh stay tuned because i'll be posting that too but um yeah other than that if you haven't already hit the subscribe button down there tap the bell button to be notified every time i post a video and i'll see you guys next time on Erky's world bye